In this video, we're going to talk about HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Tim Berners-Lee, the same man who's responsible for creating the World Wide Web, created HTML in 1993. Every single website that you visit on the internet is using HTML. It's the building blocks for structuring and creating web pages. It is a markup language and it has no dynamic functionality and it is not a programming language. Files are notated with a .html file extension or .htm. In order to edit a file, you would need a computer with a text editor such as VS Code, Sublime Text, or Vim. You can render the contents of an HTML file using a modern web browser. HTML uses elements to tell the browser how to render content on a web page. Elements are often referred to as tags. Tags can be used to render everything from text, images, buttons, and links, among other things, on the page. Tag names are enclosed in angle brackets. An element will usually have an opening tag and a closing tag, and the content of that element will be nested in between those tags. Some elements such as images and inputs do not require a closing tag and are self-closing. Many elements also use attributes. Attributes are properties of an element which provide additional information for that element. Some of the common elements you'll see in an HTML file are the doc type, which declares the type of file to the browser, the HTML root, which is the root of the document, the head, which is used for metadata, the title, which defines the title of the document, the body, which contains all the document's content, the div tag, which is a container element, h1 through h6, which are headers, the p tag, which is used for paragraphs, image tag, which is used for images, the a tag, which is used for hyperlinks, input tags for different types of inputs, buttons for, well, buttons, and the comment tag, which is used to comment out sections of your code. So I went ahead and created an HTML file and opened it up in VS Code. The main HTML file for a website will always be named index. If you look at this file, you'll see a lot of the common tags that I just finished mentioning. At the top, we have the doc type tag. This lets the browser know that this is an HTML file. The way that this file is structured is very important. You'll see that the HTML tag wraps everything that's in this page. The HTML tag is the root of this page and everything that's in it is what the page consists of. After the HTML tag, you'll always have the head tag. The head tag contains all the page's metadata. Inside the head tag, you'll have different tags for metadata, including the title tag that was mentioned. The title tag tells the browser what the name of this page is and as you can see over here at the top of this tab, it's the same name that's mentioned in this title. After the head, we'll have the body. The body is what houses all of the web page's content. Everything that's in the body is what we'll render on the screen. In the body, I went ahead and added some of the tags that I mentioned earlier. The first item in the body is an H1 element, and it's rendering hello world over here on the screen. After that is an image tag. The image tag has a couple attributes. You can see the source attribute, which tells the browser where this image is stored, and then we have the alt attribute, which adds alt text for screen readers and for when an image does not render. Up next, we have a paragraph tag. I went ahead and added some dummy text in there so you can see that there's a paragraph rendering here with the same content that is inside of this paragraph tag. Next, we have an A tag or an anchor tag, and it has an attribute of href. The href within the anchor tag lets us know where this link is gonna link out to. If this link is clicked, it will take us to google.com. Up next, we have a BR tag, which adds a line break to the screen. BR tags are self-closing tags. Self-closing tags, such as the image tag up here, and the BR tag here, and the input tag here, can either be closed out with a forward slash or not. It's best practice to make sure that you're consistent whether you decide to use them or not. And as you can see, they have been added up here. So I'll go ahead and use my formatter to go ahead and add them to the BR tag and the input tag. After the BR tag, which causes the line break, we have the input tag. The input tag has an attribute of type text. That lets the browser know that this input is a text input. And as you can see on this side, we have the text input. I can type things into the input field, and if this form was hooked up and we would be able to submit it, then this input would need additional attributes such as value in order to communicate what we would like to send back to the server. Up next, I have a button tag, which says click me. The button tag renders a button on the screen as you can see here. There's no functionality tied into this button right now since it is just a plain HTML button. Up next we have a comment tag. As you can see the comment is grayed out. You can't see it as well as all the other elements on the page that have syntax highlighting. The comment is dulled out for a reason. When you comment something out on the page, it will be ignored. And although comments are usually used to leave notes, you can also use them to comment out blocks of code that you would like to temporarily disable. If I go ahead and comment out this button here and save, you'll see that the button no longer renders because I commented it out. If I go ahead and undo that comment and save, you'll see that the button is back. 
So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I plan on doing more videos like this on other technologies such as CSS and JavaScript. If you have any suggestions on how I can make this series better, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this or any videos on me just talking about learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.